The enemy should fear this drone. MQ-9 Reaper The MQ-9 Reaper is the primary offensive strike unmanned aerial vehicle for the United States Air Force. Given its significant loiter time, wide-range sensors, multi-mode communication suite, and precision weapons, it provides a unique capability to perform strike, coordination, and reconnaissance against high-value fleeting and time-sensitive targets. The MQ-9 is a larger, heavier, and more capable aircraft than the earlier General Atomics MQ-1 Predator. It can be controlled by the same ground systems used to control the MQ-1s. The Reaper has a 900 shaft horsepower, 712 kilowatt turboprop engine, compared to the Predator's 115 horsepower, 86 kilowatt piston engine. The greater power allows the Reaper to carry 15 times more ordnance payload and cruise at about three times the speed of the MQ-1. The aircraft is monitored and controlled by aircrew in the Ground Control Station GCS, including weapons employment. Produced by General Atomics, the Reaper has been in service since 2007. With a price tag of around $16 million, it's a cheap option capable of collecting valuable intelligence and conducting airstrikes with a variety of bombs and missiles. The Reaper is smaller than a conventional attack aircraft with a wingspan of 66 feet and weighs only 4,900 pounds. It typically operates at around 25,000 feet and uses a propeller engine, rendering it difficult to see and hear on the battlefield. With a range of 1,200 miles, it can travel great distances, all while a pilot sits in a base thousands of miles away. Reapers can also perform the following missions and tasks, intelligence, surveillance, reconnaissance, close air support, combat search and rescue, precision strike, Buddy Laser, Convoy Slash Raid Overwatch, Route Clearance, Target Development, and Terminal Air Guidance. The death of General Qasem Soleimani of Iran has been the topic of the moment. A $16 million General Atomics MQ-9 Reaper drone was used in the operation carried out by the U.S. Iranian General Qasem Soleimani was killed on January 3, 2020 in Baghdad, Iraq. Death approached silently, breaking through the Hellfire-type missiles. In this case, it was ordered by the United States to use a General Atomics MQ-9 Reaper drone. The Reaper is part of a remotely piloted aircraft system. A fully operational system consists of several sensor-slash-weapon-equipped aircraft, ground control station, Predator primary satellite link, and spare equipment along with operations and maintenance crews for deployed 24-hour missions. The basic crew consists of a rated pilot to control the aircraft and command the mission, an enlisted aircrew member to operate sensors and weapons as well as a mission coordinator when required. To meet combatant commander's requirements, the Reaper delivers tailored capabilities using mission kits containing various weapons and sensor payload combinations. The MQ-9 baseline system carries the multi-spectral targeting system, which has a robust suite of visual sensors for targeting. The MTSB integrates an infrared sensor, color-slash-monochrome daylight TV camera, image-intensified TV camera, laser designator, and laser illuminator. The full-motion video from each of the imaging sensors can be viewed as separate video streams or fused. The unit also incorporates a laser rangefinder slash designator, which precisely designates targets for employment of laser-guided munitions, such as the Guided Bomb Unit 12 Paveway 2. The Reaper is also equipped with a synthetic aperture radar to enable future GBU-38 Joint Direct Attack Munitions targeting. The MQ-9 can also employ four laser-guided missiles, air-to-ground missile 114 Hellfire, which possess highly accurate low-collateral damage, anti-armor, and anti-personnel engagement capabilities. 
The remotely piloted aircraft can be disassembled and loaded onto a single container for deployment worldwide. The entire system can be transported in the C-130 Hercules or larger aircraft. The MQ-9 aircraft operates from standard U.S. airfields with clear line-of-sight to the ground data terminal antenna, which provides line-of-sight communications for takeoff and landing. The PPSL provides over-the-horizon communications for the aircraft and sensors. The primary concept of operations, remote split operations, employs a launch and recovery ground control station for takeoff and landing operations at the forward operating location. While the crew, based in continental United States, executes command and control of the remainder of the mission via beyond line-of-sight links. Remote split operations result in a smaller number of personnel deployed to a forward location. Consolidate control of the different flights in one location and as such simplify command and control functions as well as the logistical supply challenges for the weapon system. The U.S. Air Force proposed the MQ-9 Reaper system in response to the Department of Defense directive to support initiatives of overseas contingency operations. It's larger and more powerful than the MQ-1 Predator and is designed to execute time-sensitive targets with persistence and precision and destroy or disable those targets. The M is the DOD designation for multi-role and Q means remotely piloted aircraft system. The 9 indicates it's the ninth in the series of remotely piloted aircraft systems.